hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i kind of have like a cool new video set up for you guys it's going to be a zoom in into my eyes and just a talk through just because i want to start focusing on my eye looks and if you like these type of videos please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button before we start So we're gonna start with the base. This is a P. Louise base and a Morphe, just fluffy little brush. I'm gonna be putting this on the back of my hand, picking it up with the brush and applying it all over my eyelid in patting motions. I used to use a concealer brush, but I didn't like that it would pick up product. This just pushes in product in my skin and makes it look like a flawless base. We are starting off with the Desi Times Katie um, Dose of Colors collection with that pinky shade. We're going to tap out all creases before we start off with the eye look. I have applied some tape because when I do halo eyes, I like doing a clean cut due to if I round it off, you can't really see the cut crease, you know, like the halo eye part anymore. So I like doing a clean cut. Here I'm applying the shadow with the Morphe M507 in the outer and inner corner. I do not set the base. I let it wet because it gives me more pigmentation. And it might be hard in the beginning, but it's really easy to blend out once you get the technique down. Taking your Morphe M507, you're going to start blending out the edges and bringing that shadow inwards, filling in the negative space that's on your eyelid. Now going in with the I Love Side E collection with that pinky curly shade and a Morphe M514. We're going to start blending out the edges in circular small motions. This helps my base, I guess, like keep intact. And by the time I'm already done with the halo part, um, the base is already dried down. So it won't be hard to blend out. So the base is no longer tacky. So I'm able to blend in circular motions. Going back with my Morphe M507 and that deep pink shade that we first started off with, we're going to start going back and deepening the inner and outer corner. I really like getting in that depth when it comes into Halo Eye because when I cut the crease, I like having it, you know, like a dark, um, not very dark, but like a, like a sultry depth into the crease. So I'm going to start deepening the crease with the color chains in the Desi Times Katie Frankation palette. Frankation palette. And we're just going to start deepening up um, the inner and outer corner again. I just wanted more depth into the eye look. Now I'm going in with the P. Louise Base and Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, mixing them both together because they make one of the best combos. Like the P. Louise is super thick and just like th thick enough for covering shadow. And then the Maybelline Fit Me is thin enough and liquid enough to be able to move the brush and give you that clean cut. So I'm going in with my Morphe M508. And I'm going to start cutting my crease. So if you guys saw how I opened up my eyes and rolled my eyes back, it's because I have hooded eyes. And hooded eyes, um, when you open up your eye, the crease goes over the lid. It's this huge mess. But I like using that trick just to be able to get that perfect cut. Once I'm happy with my cut, I'm going to start getting like a fluffy little brush and blending out the edges. You could always use your finger for this. I mean, always. You could always use your fingers for this process, but I feel like a brush is just easier for me since I have chubby fingers. Now I'm going in with my Morphe M507 and going back with that, uh, I think it's called Churro. Let me make sure what shade it is. I think it's Girl Bye. Girl Bye. And then we're going to start using those two colors to blend in the concealer. And then, like, sorry, right there. Um, my eye got a little bit itchy because of the tape. I know tape is not something you want to put around your eye, but it works for me. And then we're going to be going in with that other shade. It's called Cheens. And we're going to start deepening the outer and inner corner. You want to do tapping motions with the concealer so the powder can set that wet concealer.
Now I'm going in with my Morphe M508 and the glitter with the Desi Times Kitty collection and Jesticus. Now I really like this color but the problem is that it's such a glittery consistency and it's kind of loose. You have to be really careful and just very tedious in where you're placing the product. So I'm doing tapping motions because if I were to swipe the product would just fall and break. The shadow is very brittle. It's like a shimmery glitter consistency but it's such a beautiful shadow. I'm going back with my Morphe M507 and tapping out the corners to blend out the shadow with the harsh lines. This is what makes a halo eye a perfect halo eye. I'm going in with a smaller brush to get more precision in that like inner and outer corner. I'm taking off the tapes. Do you see how clean that cut is? And now I'm going in with the Stila Magnificent Glitters in Diamond Dust and a Morphe M508. Getting some product and going to be tapping it in um, the halo part where Just a Kiss is placed at. And I'm going to be getting my finger and then tapping it out. It's going to be a repetitive step. or if You don't want to put too much because it is like a diamond dust, like a very starry night. And that's what I wanted to get from, that's the effect that I wanted. So I'm going to go in, place, use my finger, tap out. It's like I said, a repetitive method to be able to get that perfect um, shimmery eye. Once you're done with that step basically you're all done with your eye look i just went ahead and added some lashes they are divino lashes in the style blossom so basically we're all done you guys thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up please hit the subscribe button and let me know down below if there's any more um you know tutorials you'd like to see thank you so much for watching you guys